Hello everyone, I'm Giga Gantar from L4 Chronicles, one of the head, I think the head creator. Uh, and today I will be your host. I am not the host you deserve, nor am I the host you need, but I will do the intro today. Uh, with me I of course have my crew of uh, my lofty adventurers. Uh, we have Patrick on the behind the computer doing everything technical, I don't understand that entirely. Uh, then we have Tiasha and Alyash over Hello. there. Uh, Hello. They will be monitoring the chat and whispering me everything I forget. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining us today. We have, in a way, a very important update to tell you um, about. And yeah, let's jump into it. So, uh, why I wanted to gather you today is because the important announcement I have is that manufacturing is completed. What that means? That means that the, well, the shipment of all the goodies you are awaiting will set sail in about two weeks. And so, in that way, we can say that the shipping phase will begin in about two weeks and from then on you can expect to receive your package. I'm very excited about, the, about that, but I can't really fully comprehend it. So, uh, let me know if you are excited in the chat and in the comments on Discord, if possible. Uh, so yeah, uh, about the background, uh, about the background, uh, the global state of shipping uh, was quite chaotic lately, as you already may know, by other Kickstarters and so on. Uh, but I'm happy to say that together with our manufacturers, uh, the Unicool uh, plastic manufacturing, uh, well, we worked really hard to be able to even, uh, you know, how you would call it, uh, to arrange everything. Uh, for the packages to set sail from the factory and to depart to their, their you know, destination continent. Uh, from there on, uh, you will get your package delivered by uh, Games Quest uh, Fulfillment. Uh, and yeah, hopefully they will do a good job and you will get your thing soon. Um, that would, I think, cover the brief update on the whole project and the topic. Um, but yeah. Um, I have a few things to tell you about the entire process and how things went uh, and I feel like um, telling you about that today on today's stream. So, in front of me I have uh, a core box for L4 Chronicles, L4 Chronicles or rather the sample box uh, which was made as a production sample by the said manufacturers. Uh, and what I would like to do is show you a bit of the sample and then show you the pictures of actual mass produced product. Uh, why and how will I do that? Well, lately, I about a week ago, I had the pleasure uh, of a video call with our manufacturers and they took their time to do a proper unboxing video for me uh, so that I could confirm if everything is alright and the spoilers alert, uh, it is. Uh, so <laughs> everything is going very nicely and one thing to keep in mind is that the final product is actually uh, on a whole new level compared to the sample. Uh, okay, so if we jump into the whole thing, let me start by showing you the sample. I will be opening it. There we go. The box is pretty stiff, it's pretty hard, so I think a lot of you will like that. Okay, so and Patrick, could you please open the folder with the picture so I can show, the, show off those more? Okay, you will be seeing those briefly, but uh, keep with me. Okay, so if you look in the box, what's in the core box? We, of course, have the core box, and here you can see the uh, expansion box behind me. I think the final box was a bit bigger by design. Um, why did I not show you the sample before? Well, it's because we wanted to take care of everything beforehand. Um, we wanted to make sure that everything is up to the standards and the quality of what we are doing is at its best. Uh, what that means, there were some things like dimensions, some materials that we wanted to improve, and you will get those uh, in the final mass-produced sample. Uh, just a second, uh, guys, all okay? Okay, uh, could you close the picture so I can show you? Oh, is that working? Okay, cool. So, what we have in the core box? Well, the, the expansion, I think, is self-explanatory. You have the creatures and then you have the AI cards and the profile cards. But in the core box, we have the rulebook. Don't mind this copy. Uh, it was one of the multiple copies sent to us so that we could test the materials and so on. 
uh, hence the label over here. And then we have, I think one of my favorite things, although it's not that big and so on, but I think it's pretty nice. We have the world map of Kalad. Just a second, let me orient it for you. This, just a second, okay. This, this is the world of Kalad. This is basically the world where Elfall Chronicles is currently happening. Uh, it's a world we've been very passionate to world build um, and we would love to tell you much more about it in the future articles. A bit more on that a bit later. But I think the map came out really well. The quality is very nice and hopefully you guys can enjoy it as well as I can study it and plan your adventures into the world of Kalad. So yeah, this is, I think, a very nice part of the whole thing. Okay, moving on. Uh, just a second. Can I get the mouse, please? Okay, I can't. Something else is going on. Okay, I will just keep rambling. Don't worry about me. Uh, okay, then we have the play mat, the paper mat included in the box. I won't be opening because it's huge. So huge, in fact, that for the sample, the manufacturers has to glue two pieces of paper together because they, uh, you know, for a quick production, you don't have machines big enough to print such big... Uh, well, play mats in a way. Um, it's 90 by 90, 90 centimeters, meaning 36 by 36 inches. Um, so yeah, it's pretty big. And I will show you a photo later. Uh, all the mats in the final version had to be hand folded because they were just too big for any machinery to fold them uh, mechanically. Uh, but the print is also very nice. The paper is quite stiff, uh, so it shouldn't wear off easily. Okay, so while the box, this content, uh, can you see them? Oh, just a second, looking on the television. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, while it looks very nice, there were some significant changes in the final version. One, the faction boxes, here you can see them being square and quite tiny, uh, the size of these were was large, uh, enlarged, meaning that the final box will be quite wider and bigger, bigger actually. Now I finally got a green light that I can show you the pictures. Can I show the pictures? Here they are. Just a second. Bear with me. Okay, I can do it now. Uh, let's start with everything. I guess we'll see the box later, but here you can see how the final box will look like. And for me personally, it's aesthetically much more pleasing. The box is tiny bit bigger in general, um, and the boxes containing the minis are also a bit bigger. Meaning that, well, each one of these boxes will contain four minis of the represented faction, uh, and by making the box larger and so on, the minis will be in a way safer and uh, they will also include the cards, which the sample didn't. There was some significant problem with the uh, well miscommunication, uh, how the cards are packed and so on, but we already solved that, so don't worry about that too much. Too much, you can still worry a bit. Uh, we have the dice. The dice are, these are the sample. Uh, the dice are pretty sexy in my opinion. You can see that instead of number one, they have the Elfo Chronicles logo engraved. Uh, so, and in a way they look like marble, like stone, which I really like. I don't think I have a photo of the dice uh, from the manufacturing, but it literally looked like two bags of stone uh, when they were not yet engraved and polished and so on. So that looked pretty interesting. We have dice until the dice folder. Huh? The close-up picture is the dice. We do? Oh yeah, I will show them. Just a second. Let's go to dice folder. Here they are. Yeah, this looks very nice. Okay, so they are very nicely polished. Oh, not yet. <laughs> well, not so much of a spoiler since you will be expecting those. Uh, but this is how the faction dice will look like. This is the sample for the Halian League dice. And we want that really nice pearly feeling to them. So it, they look a bit magical in a way. Don't mind those. Now, let's move on. So the dice are nice. That's the bottom line. <laughs> uh, okay, then we have the cards. The cards are pretty good. The size is tarot, so you will be able to get protection sleeves for them if you want that. Again, dice were made just for, you know, visual aid. 
but they do look nice. Tichan, Tiasha did a very good job with them. Uh, in the end, they will have another coating uh, to protect them further, but they are very much readable and very nice in terms of color and everything. Uh, do we have those? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, we do. Okay. Just a second. They will... Uh, they're in the cards folder. Cards folder? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, there's also nice spoilers there. Just a second. Oh, oh, weird. Yeah. yeah, this? Are we? Okay. Okay, 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 no. We actually might not have the profile. Yeah. Okay, well, you see them, well, you saw them before, you know how they look like. Let's move on. Um, one thing I want to mention, some of you may have noticed, some of you didn't. We completely redesigned the look of AI cards, and I think now they are much more pleasing and much more readable than earlier, and the final version will be even more readable uh, than this one. We have a question. Uh, so we have a question, just a second. They yeah, will. Do Doji um, was asking if the faction dice have their logos. Yeah, the faction dice have their logo instead of number one, same as the other dice. Because they do. The faction logo, or is it? The faction logo, yeah. <laughs> Each faction has a different logo, and yeah, you can see their logo, well, on their boxes actually, and then you can match it with the actual dice. In any case, I can tell more about that if you'd like, but I think I answered the question. Uh, okay, uh, Patrick, could you patch me to the pictures again? Okay, so now I can show you a bit more about the layout. So, before I've shown you this picture, here you can see the big and mighty Colossus. She is super big, they, she even surprised a bit our manufacturers. They told me I'm a bit crazy, but I already know that, so that didn't matter. Um, and yeah, uh, as you can see, the entire layout looks, in my opinion, a bit more polished. This older version, the sample, had a plastic insert in for the dice and so on. But in my opinion, the final version has a paper, which means that, it, well, in, arguably it's more environmentally friendly. Uh, but it also looks more luxurious, in my opinion. That, that are just my thoughts. Okay, um, let's pull out the rest of the things. We don't need this. So you see, these were basically just another boxes to hold things in place earlier, which we don't need anymore now. Uh, but what do what we do need are scheme and upgrade cards, which were mistakenly placed in the core box earlier, but final version will have its own packaging, which I will show you shortly. Okay, so we have scheme cards. They look like this. Final version looks even brighter and I think more vibrant. Mm -hmm. We took care of that. Uh, and the front version, you may already know, well, again, we look more vib uh, vibrant and so on, but you can see almost every single card has a unique art accompanying it and uh, their own effect and so on. Uh, I think they're very exciting. Uh, well, I was doing the illustrations myself, so my hand almost fell off, but I do think still they are pretty nice. Especially the upgrade cards, since uh, the, the scheme cards, I can tell you more about that. I designed them in a way as if they were showing like glimpses from a memory or something like that. While on the other, a bit ghostly even, like spectral ethereal kind of style. While the upgrade cards are actually showing items or, well, things happening. Uh, and in my opinion, these look very great, very good. I mean, I, I like them a lot. They bring a lot of immersion to the game and so on, and also tell you a bit about the world. For example, you can see the weapons, different weapons used in different factions. Uh, I don't know, you can see simple daily stuff and so on. While on the other hand, one good thing about skin cards is, let me return back to them, uh, they will also tell you a bit of the lore themselves, because every single card, uh, almost every single card gets a company at, with uh, lore text. But yeah. That's a little bit of that. Oh yeah, in the background of this. Uh, they have a different symbol, so you can easily recognize them and tell them apart. And of course, different color. Uh, well, which helps if you're not colorblind. Otherwise, my apologies. Uh, but yeah, upgrade, ca upgrade card has an um, arrowhead pointing upwards as an upgrade. And the skin card has a snake uh, entwining a scroll. Okay, enough about that. Uh, let me show you how the upgraded skin cards look. Uh, can I take the mouse? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so 
this is how the Skimmy numbered cards look in the final version. Can I put your hands away from the mouse? <laughs> okay. So you can see they have their own packaging. I think the packaging came out very nicely. Uh, you can still see they will be uh, vacuum sealed and so on. So don't worry about them. Also, uh, tell them that these pictures are not um, in any way altered. Uh, these pictures are in not in any way altered. Uh, teacher just reminded me to tell you that these are raw photos sent to me straight from the factory by a kind man named David. He is amazing. I've exchanged more than 500 mails with him and we are practically friends by now. Okay, so let me show you more about the pictures. Ah. Hands off! <laughs> okay, here we have the front side of the upgrade cards. Just to point in the right direction, you can speculate about the image whatever you like. Okay, so we have this, they look lovely in my opinion. And then we have skim cards. I think they look very luxurious and so on. Here you can see the background, more vibrant version. Oh no, what is the picture of? Let's move on. Okay, the, uh, these are the cards present in the core box, we have them. I think you haven't seen those, the second column from the left, uh, nor the first column from the left. Uh, that's a bit of a surprise, I guess, for you. Hopefully you can see them, read them a bit, learn something new, I mean, use them well. You did pay for them, so you are getting them. Um, <laughs> those, are. These are the so-called quest-specific upgrade cards and skin cards and so on. Okay, then you have, of course, automatically included uh, creature cards. Uh, you can play the creatures as tokens, even if you don't have the minis. Hence, the cards are here. And, of course, their AI cards and the Amazon Gladiatrix. Okay, uh, and this is how the upgrade cards look when arranged nicely. I think they look quite cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so here we can see mostly Sand Kingdoms, Hellion League down below, uh, Coalition of Tenyon up left. I had a lot of fun doing this. I learned a lot as well, <laughs> art-wise. Uh, so yeah, something to show, something to add. I Ah, yes, you can see how nicely vibrant the skim cards background is. I don't know, let me know what you think of them. I like them a lot personally. And yes, you can see they are nicely protected by the coating. Okay, ooh, you can, I could zoom in, but I won't. Ha, later. Okay, um, moving on, what else did I want to say? Ah, yes. Here you can see how the scenery objects will be packed. For those mighty people who order the Warlord, some even multiple, you will be getting scenery objects with your pledge. Uh, these are basically the, well, I have one over here, you can't see me because I'm showing you the screen at the moment, but you will be getting these structures. Um, they are essentially place markers, uh, in points of interest on the field uh, that will be important in certain quests. So I think Pedro made our 3D sculptor made an awesome job on this. They will be packed separately as well as Amazon Gladiatrix. Just a second. Okay. Uh, you are on the camera, you just can't see it. Ah, okay. <laughs> they can see it. Hey guys! <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, okay, uh, about the box. The box is actually the colors again in the final version are more, more vibrant. Uh, and another thing you can notice are, I think, quite nice logo is over here which you can't see on the sample, because we didn't have a logo at the time. But yeah, I think now it actually looks like a, how would you say, an ancient Chinese art piece or something like that with an imperial seal on it. I don't know. Two koi fish swimming around kanji for freedom. We might hmm? say that in some, in some way it was so important to us, and in another way it was so unimportant that we just slacked off with our logo. I don't know if you hear, uh, hear Tichan, but she just said that... Oh, they can, they can hear? Okay. So you can hear her. Okay. I won't reiterate it. <laughs> uh, in any case, yes. But since, you know, the manufacturers also were very happy that we actually included Chinese characters or well, Japanese characters in the logo and they were happy about that. So that's a plus, you know. You can tell them what they mean. Uh, Jiu, freedom in Japanese. So since we are a free company, why not have that incorporated in the logo? I wanted it to look like, uh, you know, a crest I can put on a banner. 
and take or a t-shirt and I take and take on to the battlefield okay <laughs> enough <laughs> uh, and next to our logo you can see the manufacturer's logo over here you can see that this is manufactured product because it actually has a barcode I learned a lot doing barcodes carry on okay um, when you will open the box this is what will you be greeted by I think it looks pretty nice and well have fun exploring it and of course the map and so on but you've seen all this already oh yeah and down below in the sample there are punch boards uh, the same thing will be with the final version I think I mostly cover that but let's just leave that open over here so moving on just a second could you please show me my notes so that I know where I'm at <laughs> Okay, I think I mostly covered the product itself, how things came together. Uh, well, the manufacturing process was pretty wild, I can tell you that much. There was a lot of stuff we wanted to do in between manufacturing and so on, but it, the whole thing is so time-consuming that we were unable to. I will tell you more about that later, but now we can. Uh, and yeah, we are pretty happy how things came together. Uh, everything is ready, everything looks crisp. Here you can see some of the samples they've sent us earlier. The whole resin thing is very, well, in my opinion, it's amazing. Um, I'm trying to put paint on some of the minis. Uh, it doesn't crack off or anything like that. Um, there was a lot of concerns with the removal of, uh, well, how they are called mold lines for those who don't know. So the, how you would say, a small lines on the model that are left as a residue, I mean, a rem remainder of the whole casting process. Uh, but one thing to say, mm, they're very hard to find, that's one, and if you find them, they're very easy to remove. Um, I posted a video in the Discord, just if you want to check it out, it was quite long ago. Um, but in any case, uh, I tested it out, uh, the mold lines remove perfectly, either with a file, or with a modeling knife, the scalpel. Um, so I think it's pretty awesome. The resin is hard, it's not rubbery or anything like that. So it's a proper thing. It's very high quality stuff. I like it a lot. Uh, the guys look like they have a question for me. Any questions? Mm -mm. Okay, moving on. Um, yeah, it was quite an arduous journey, but we made it, I think. Hope things don't fall into water or some rogue missile hits the ship. <laughs> But yeah, things are going well. <laughs> yeah, Tijan. Well, technically, they are. Uh, what's the word? Um, you know, we have the safety on them. Technically. Uh, yeah, I mean, if but, they fall in the water. <laughs> but if the missile hits the ship, you know. Well. <laughs> okay. If everything goes well. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Moving on. Um, so yeah, uh, what I wanted to say is. Uh, I would like to... Are we on? Yes. Well, we are on again. I wonder for how long. Okay, cool. You can hear me. Okay, uh, let's return back to the topic. Why my favorite faction is not Sand Kingdoms. I'm joking. Uh, maybe it is. Again, I like all the factions. I have designing them all. Uh, well, I did design them all mostly, but <laughs> never mind. Um, that's actually a difficult question. I'm, I think for us creators, it's for us creators, it's an impossible question. I think you could ask me which is my favorite model, uh, but I don't think I can answer you which my favorite faction is. Uh, also, because there are plenty of factions that you know we have for ourselves currently, so um, those are also interesting and it make, it's making me very hard to answer the question. So, I'm sorry, I will have to move on from it. Okay, uh, so to conclude the product, um, what I wanted to say about the production and everything. Uh, the sample is pretty awesome, uh, but nevertheless the mass-produced copy is even better, which I wanted to show you with the pictures earlier. Uh, we are very happy with how things came along and we are very excited to bring you this product. We are very passionate and all of that. So, please enjoy it and let us know all your comments in Discord or now in Twitch. Go. Okay, uh, moving on to the final uh, point I wanted to talk about today. What comes next? Uh, what comes next in terms of... Yeah, question? 
what comes next in the term of what are our plans for the short future and so on. First, as I said earlier, we've been extremely busy with the manufacturing lately, but now that we have some more time on our hands, we wanted to continue doing more lore articles, uh, showing you more about the world um, and post some more engagement stuff, um, even do more streams uh, if the situation allows. Um, then again, another thing we want to do is update the current core rules, because one important thing, oh yeah, I didn't show you that earlier, but for example, in this uh, sample rulebook, um, we, we left some pages blank. Those pages will be filled by you wonderful backers who backed the Kickstarter and helped to bring this project to life. So thank you once again for that. Uh, my microphone at least. You can hear me now, okay. Okay, I'll be quick so it doesn't die again. So uh, what I was talking about, the core rules you currently can see on the Discord, I'm joking. Um, they are not yet finally revised and so on. Uh, we did that several times with the final version of the rules, which you will of course be getting printed, but we will be uploading it shortly. And with it, uh, you also deserve to get multiple quests. Uh, we have many in the process of the making um, and we will be gladly sharing those around in a couple of days. Uh, please test them out and let us know what you think and how we can even improve them. Um, apart from that, what was I wanting to say? Just a second, I have things written down. It looks a bit awkward, but you know, smart people write things down, they say. Although <laughs> I'm not a smart person. Okay, um, yeah, that's mainly what I wanted to say. There are multiple documents and so on that needs to be updated. We will do that shortly, revealing you some extra stuff, things that we've been talking about but haven't shown you yet, like environment rules and so on. So please stay tuned, uh, keep up with the whole development, let us know your thoughts about everything. Uh, we appreciate your input uh, and take it to heart. So apart from that, there are other important things I want to address. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we want to make more lore articles. Tichan has been diligently doing that for the past two weeks. She posted two, two articles on the Adventures Guild. Uh, if you haven't read it, please read it online on the webpage. Uh, and of course, uh, let us know your comments on it. Uh, we appreciate them a lot and they mean a lot to us. But apart from that, she'll be posting another Adventures Guild, the last part of the Adventures Guild article in a couple of days. Um, so yeah, that's one thing and also if you have the time, speculate why the hell are we talking about the Adventures Guild lately. Um, apart from that, uh, um, an important thing to let you know is that, well, of course, last but not least, we will be attending the Spiel Essen event in October uh, in Germany. What is Spiel Essen for those who may not know? I think it's the biggest tabletop event in Europe uh, and it's both for war games and tabletop, other tabletop games like board games and so on. So we will not, of course be there for the first time uh, now that we finally have everything ready and so on. Uh, I think we can safely attend it, uh, attend it and show you everything in person. Please come by our stand, uh, meet us, have a chat with us, even play a few games if you have the time. Uh, we would love to meet you in person. Uh, we'll be there for the whole event uh, and we are more than happy to meet you. We are planning some extra stuff uh, that you will be seeing there, uh, which if I move on is, uh, as many of you have already speculated and posted about many times, uh, we have been working on an expansion for Elpor Chronicles as well. As always, we are a bit secretive about everything until I spoil it. Um, but yeah, we've been working on it, it's coming along very nicely, it's awesome. We have minis being sculpted for it and so on, uh, and I will be happy to show and talk more about that uh, when the ship around when the shipping begins, so in about two weeks. Uh, but of course, if you come by our stand uh, on, in Essen, uh, you will be able to see many of these things in person, and we can tell you all about it there. You can even test something out probably at that, at that point. So yeah, I am very excited about that. Hope you are as well. Uh, what the team is and how the whole thing is, I would love to hear you speculate about it. Uh, so bring the rumors on. Uh, we have a question. We have a question. Um, will we be compi uh, compiling a lore book or an art book? We would love to. 
Uh, one thing, one, one funny thing about us developers, namely me and Tichan, while we are writing and illustrating mostly everything, we have a bit uh, of a weird relationship to our products and so on. We nev almost never deem them worthy enough to post them, you know, compile them up and be proud of them. I don't know why that is. I think they're just Slovenian education. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, since many people asked, uh, we would be happy to do something like that in the future. I, I think it would be about time to do something like that and share more about the lore and everything behind with you guys. I think that also the feedback that will come from that will be amazing and will really enrich the entire universe we're making. Yeah. Um, so if you have any last uh, questions, comments and so on, please post them now. I will try to answer them. Otherwise, I think uh, with the bombshell on the expansion and everything coming to a close, for the Helpful Chronicles Kickstarter edition at least. Uh, I will be wrapping the stream up soon. Um, again, if you have the last few seconds to type those questions in. If you miss them, please uh, post them in the Discord. I am always happy to answer things there. Definitely. See how smooth it is? It's nice. Uh, so yeah, definitely. We'll be at this and you can see new stuff there. She, Alia, she's doing something. What What am I supposed to do? Show something. Show the box. I can't, because things will fall out. Close it. <laughs> I, I dropped the lid on the floor. He says that I should close it and show it around, but I can't reach the lid, I think. I threw it a bit too far. Uh, in any case, what's he doing? Some questions. We have a few questions, just a second. I have Alia's phone in my hands. It's awesome. Oh, ho, ho. No, Check don't it talk. because I'm in nudes. Huh? <laughs> Send nudes. Show us the nudes. <laughs> Can we get t-shirt and apparel? I, we, we'll see what we can do. Um, I, I, I like to be rather conservative about what I promise because it's not that easy to do stuff like that. But we will be considering some pre-orders and things like that. I think they came nicely. I can't show you my back right now, but it has a nice well, Elfo Chronicles. This shirt isn't that good, of course. Aliash can show you the back, just a second. This, this was, yeah, this, this, these, these were homemade, but I, th I think they came together quite nicely and we may be able to do a limited run of this in some time, but definitely something to consider, thanks. Uh, anything else? Would love to give demos in style. Yes, I mean, definitely we can do something like that. Now, now you convince me with demos. Um, Shipping in two weeks. Uh, yeah, the shipping process begins in two weeks. That's when the ships will set sail and from that on you can start the stopwatch until you get the final package. Uh, I see a t-shirt. Yes, there's a t-shirt in that. Da, 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 da. Maybe, for, maybe something for retainers. Re retailers or retainers? <laughs> I mean, if you want to be my retainer, that's a bit different because we don't have feudalism here any longer, but... We can get something for retainers as well when feudalism comes back. Uh, yeah, we'll be working on merch and everything like that. Give us a bit time. Give us ideas. We love those. Uh, T-shirts will be next stretch goals. We'll s maybe. We'll see what we can do. Help us out there. Um, yeah. Workers. Press gangers. What should we call you? Chroniclers. Something like that. The Guild Sworn. You can read about them in the previous article. They're, <laughs> they're pretty badass. Something like that. Yeah, okay, now you reading the comments. Now you're convincing me we should do a t-shirt run. More comments. Uh, and Alyash is now rooting with you as well. This is madness. Okay, okay. Okay. We'll be considering t-shirts. And merch. And everything. Cool. I'll write to David. He'll be angry at me again, coming up with new shit. <laughs> but as I said, since you know we've exchanged about 500 emails by now, we are practically friends. So David will be happy. Uh, post in the comments, uh, you know uh, how you say, hashtag David, and maybe we can get him <laughs> to do something for us. <laughs> okay. Any other question? The chat came lively. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, uh, hashtag David in the Discord. That will help as well. <laughs> and on any other social media. So, that may be nice. 
Uh, anyways, uh, it was real fun talking with you guys today. Uh, any other questions? They will definitely interrupt me like the minute before I close the whole thing. I'll give you a few thanks. Okay, cool. Okay, if you have anything else, Discord, I will address it after the stream happily. Thanks a lot for joining us guys today. We, uh, well, I was very happy, although I am pretty tired as you can probably see, uh, letting you all the exciting news over and so on. I was again very excited, very happy to be able to convey you the message and at this bombshell I will be closing the stream. Thank you so much guys, bye bye, see you next time. <laughs>